Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer and today we're going to be reviewing the Olympus 8x40 and 10x50 binoculars. These are marked out as the Olympus 8x40S and 10x50S, uh, links in the description below. And I sent them for review and I thought actually it would be interesting to have a chat about this and almost do a mini beginner's guide to binoculars. Um, I don't profess to be an expert on them, um, I only use them from time to time, but I have had experience of using very cheap, head, uh, <laughs> very cheap binoculars or indeed very expensive binoculars. So I think I might be able to help you out if you are currently considering buying these and don't know whether they're any good or not. So the most important things when it comes to binoculars is sharpness and ease of use, plus weather sealing so you can use them in all weathers. The good news is that both the 8x40s and 10x50s are very good at all of those things. The image quality that you get from them is very sharp. And although I can't show you in the same way I try to for a camera or a camera lens, you're gonna have to take my word on the fact that these look fantastic. When I was looking through them, the colors were good. So when I was looking at things, it was true to life color, which is great. The brightness of the binoculars, both on the 10x50s and 8x40s, I thought was very good. And most importantly, they were supremely sharp. You can, of course, adjust the right-hand ear cup separately to the left, which means that you can actually get your eyes in sync if they're slightly, uh, have different um, focus focuses. So if you wear glasses, for instance, then you will need and like that feature. Um, I particularly like that they're very ergonomic. So holding them, they're not too heavy. They are using a lot of plastic and rubber, but they don't feel cheap and badly made. Um, and they're pretty easy and good to use. The 10 by 50s, it must be said, are quite a bit heavier. Um, some of you will find that off-putting, I think. I don't think it's a bad thing, to be honest. They are, they are quite large. Holding them up for longer periods of time is acceptable, but you probably will get fatigued after a certain amount of time. It's one of those things with this kind of an octa, you just need to have quality glass in order for them to be good. And that's what Olympus has done, and that's why they're heavy but I don't think it detracts away from using them. And it's certainly not heavier than any others that I've used before. So it's not a negative point. I like how smooth the focus rings are on both of them. There's a decent amount of resistance, it must be said, but it's not bad, it feels very smooth. So when you're actually making adjustments to your focus, it's not an issue. They are both weather sealed, so you can use them in the rain and you shouldn't have any issues. They both come with these rather nice um, padded carrying cases, which is good. Plus you have your various lens caps and you have a neck strap, which is quite thin and I would replace it with something more comfortable if you're going to be wearing them for a long time. There's a good amount of adjustment if you um, have uh, you know, eyes that are close together or further apart. Um, I do actually think they could perhaps be a bit wider for those, uh, for some of you, but I don't think it's a major issue. Um, if I do have a compare it to the Leica Ultra Vids that I have here, you certainly do get a bit of a wider field view if you need it, so just bear that in mind. I also have here imitation Leica Ultra Vids by a company called Silku, they're a um, Chinese manufacturer, um, and these cost around 30 to 50 pounds and are sold as 12 by 42s. The interesting thing is they're not. Even when I compare it to these 8x40s, there's less magnification in these than there is in the Olympus, so they're clearly lying. Um, the image quality is terrible, they're not sharp. You've got terrible color fringing, which means you sort of see um, purple and, and green highlights on, on objects when you're looking at them. The only part that was sharp was the exact center of the image. These are horrendous. I would never ever tell someone to buy cheap binoculars because you simply will not get anything that's worth having and it will put you off using them for life. If you do not want to spend the 100, 150 pound that these Olympus binoculars cost, I have one suggestion to you, which is buy used ones on the internet. Um, whether you're buying from, you know, a used pair of Nikons, Compass, Zeiss, just try and find a good manufacturer and buy a used pair of eBay and you'll probably get them for around 50 pounds and they'll be much better than anything you could have got brand new from China that weigh nothing and there's clearly just plastic lenses in here um, that are no good at all. Of course, I do have the Leica Ultravids um, on this table as well. Um, these belong to my dad. They are simply amazing. I've had the opportunity to use them a lot. The differences between using the Ultravids, which cost closer to a thousand pounds and the hundred pounds Olympus binoculars is that the field of use, the image is sharper. There's no two ways about it. There is more sharpness there. Colors are a little bit more lifelike. So 
I found these dull colors a little bit, whereas these almost brighten them. Images really pop when you're viewing things through here. Um, they have really good close focus, really, 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 really good close focus, um, slightly better than these. And most importantly, they're basically waterproof. You've no worries whatsoever in terms of, um, you know, using these if it's wet outside and they're very, very bright. And the brightness is something that you do get with more expensive binoculars. It means you can use them at dusk or indeed even in sort of nighttime situations where you have some lighting. So that's the difference between spending the hundred and the thousand pounds. But these do 95 to 98% of everything that Leicas can do. You have pretty much, you know, the same image quality, a little less sharp. These are 100% are usable and enjoyable to use. Buying cheaper ones, however, will simply end up in disappointment and you'll question why you ever bought binoculars and you'll never buy them again. So I really suggest that you don't. So there you have it. These are the 8x40 and 10x50 Olympus binoculars. Um, if you're considering buying them, I do think they're worth the money. They are surprisingly good quality and they really surprised me because I thought they'd be miles away from the Leicas and they simply aren't. Um, avoid cheap Chinese ones and if you do have the deep pockets, buying something like Leica Ultravids or indeed Swarovski equivalents is always worth considering because you will simply not get any better on the market. I hope you found this short review useful. If you have any questions, pop them in the comment section below. Equally, let me know if you want to see more content about binoculars because I have many more monoculars and binoculars that I could uh, review on this channel. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, the other button works just fine too. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe as it really helps and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.